today you'll learn how to improvise over blue bossa. Hi, my dear jazz guitar friends all over the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I'll be explaining you what scales, arpeggios and other musical tools to use. Uh, you'll learn two entire choruses of my Blue Bossa guitar solo. I'll teach you note for note, slow and easy, and there is a slow uh, playthrough of the entire song towards uh, the end of this lesson. I've made tabs and backing tracks, which you can download from one of the links down below in the description box. Please read the short download instructions right next to these links. And uh, here's a fast playthrough of the entire song first before I break everything down for you. Here we go. in the key of C minor and we have a 16 bar song form simple as that and we have two choruses so that's 32 bars here we go all right here are the first four bars and we start with C minor and F minor two bars each all right I start in the C minor pentatonic here really simple for C minor or for minor, a minor chord generally the pentatonic is a really good choice because it includes all the minor 7 arpeggio chord tones plus the 11th, alright? So I'm here in that C minor pentatonic, I think you all know that, on the 8th fret, and I start with a little motif, I slide into the G note and then into the E flat. One, two, three, four. Then we have the 10th of the um, D string and that makes for a minor chord already, C minor chord. Now a little chromatic, 9th to 10th fret, up the chord until the 7th of the chord. So 10, 8, 8, 11. That's a C minor 7 uh, arpeggio plus a chromatic. I hammer on this one. So that's the C minor thing. 3, 4. Then we have the F minor 7 chord and now here is the F minor chord. First off please always visualize the chord that is lying in the area you are playing. That's the first thing otherwise you don't know the chord tones. Our patches are important too but it's a lot easier to just know the chord and you already have one, two, three, four, five good notes available. Okay? We are in the key of F Dorian that's the E flat scale but with a focus on its native chord, the F minor 7 chord, all right? So, and this one is the third of the chord and it's the most important tone, to my ears at least. So, um, I focus on that one. I played around it with the previous arpeggio. I en enclosed it and now I land on the target tone A flat. And now I just play around the, uh, in the F Dorian scale. Right? And now for the last bar, I, I play the F melodic minor scale from D. All right, That's the sixth. It's actually the avoid note. But it's actually a good thing to start on it and then go to the major seventh. That only occurs in the melodic minor or harmonic minor, but in this case we're in melodic minor. But I mean, as opposed to the F Dorian scale, there is would be the minor seven. So the major seven sounds really very jazzy against the minor seven chord. 10, 8, 9, 11. Now I basically just go up the scale. I climb up the scale. 8, 11. And I already enclose 
the next target tone, but that's the next phrase, okay? So this is... All right, here's the entire first phrase at slow tempo. All right, and here's a 2-5-1 in the key of C minor. The next four bars is phrase number two. <clears throat> we have the D half diminished, then a G altered, and the C minor uh, 7 chord. All right, I start with the D, and we already enclosed that. Now here's the target tone, D half diminished. This is the root. I just play a D half diminished arpeggio backwards. D minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio backwards, descending. That's D, C, A flat, F, and the root again, D. The first one is twice as long to give it a little rhythm. Now the G altered chord. Next tone I see of the uh, G7 altered chord is its third. That's the B. I see this chord and here's the B. Twice as long. It's anticipated on four and. One. Then A flat, G, F, E flat, uh, B to B flat, A flat. Oops, sorry. That's a great G altered line, and here's the resolution. Half tone resolution to G, and the G is the fifth of the C chord, C minor 7. All right. And now I change over to this area for the C minor 7 chord. I go to the um, C, that's the root. Here's the C minor 7 chord. And I play that chord and an E flat major 7 uh, arpeggio. C, D, E flat, F, G, B flat, D. Okay, so what I see is this e, e flat major 7 chord. And that is a C minor 9 chord, okay, as well. We don't have the root, but we have the 3rd, the 5th, the 7th, and the 9th of the C minor 9 chord. So that's called a superimposition, E flat major 7. I have videos on that. Okay, check out superimposition guitar version. Right? <clears throat> Again. The F is a scale tone just to uh, smoothen up the arpeggio. And I embellish D, F is my, and E, embellish, uh, not embellish, enclose for the E flat that's next. It's in the chord, right? Those are triplets. Here's the target tone, second uh, bar of C minor, and I repeat that arpeggio. The upper triad is, is a G minor triad, lies within the E flat major chord, all right, and the E flat major is a C minor 9, basically, all right. Okay, now let me repeat the whole phrase number two at slow tempo for you. The song now changes its key to D flat major, and we have a 2 5 1 in the key of D flat major is E flat minor 7, A7 altered, and a D flat major 7. This is the area where we are. We start with the E flat Dorian line. I slide from the 10th to the 11th, the root, go down chromatically, pull off, and then a little pentatonic, 13, 11, 13. Now I go to the third of the A flat chord. That's uh, this dude, the C, right? Play the arpeggio from the uh, third of the chord. That's the third, the fifth, the seventh, and the root again, all right? 10, 13, 11, 13. That's a Charlie Parker line, by the way. Um, 
and we now have the flat 9 and the sharp 9. 10 of B, 12 of B, and 10 of B. Descending, A flat, G flat, and resolution to the D flat. That's the third of the D flat and the root, all right? 10th of the G string and 11th of the D string. And now for the D flat major chord, we have two bars and I play a little motif just using chord tones and going down this fretboard. I take the same notes but on the 5th fret of the G string and the 6th of the B because I see that chord here and they are included here, right? They are included in this arpeggio, right? And they are included, oops, in this chord and then I go back and play actually the first one again an octave lower that's the fourth of the uh, D string and the, th sorry, the third of the D string and the fourth of the A string and that's it right and here's the entire phrase number three at slow tempo all right here are the last bars of the uh, first chorus and we modulate back to the key of C minor we are back on the half diminished G7 altered C minor 251 all right and uh, we were down here with the D flat and now we want to enclose that D we do that by chromatically approaching it from above scale tone below chromatic below target tone on beat one of the D half diminished chord here's the D half diminished chord if you play three tones before you have to start on three and one two three and four and one now I play, I ascend the D half diminished arpeggio, D, we already have that, F, A flat, and C. Now I play around the uh, D Locrian scale a bit, that's the um, F Dorian as well, you might, or E flat major. So that's B flat, G, A flat, and B flat. That's my D Locrian line. And now I am on the third of the G7 chord, right? That's the B. And there are many tools I can use for an altered chord. And now I choose a, a, I choose a diminished arpeggio, all right? B diminished arpeggio. It's not perfectly altered because we have a perfect fifth in there. So it's not altered. B, D, F, A flat but that's a great choice to play over altered chords. Pull off to the G and now I go back a beautiful A flat minor major 7 chord. G, E flat, uh, B and A flat. That's my G altered line and the last part is pure G altered. Right? That's the uh, A flat melodic minor or G altered scale. And now we resolve it to C minor and I have a really beautiful thing here for you. C minor arpeggio, G, C with an added ninth, D, 2, E flat. All right? And I really love those. This is, I'm also a gypsy player. And in Gypsy you play minor at nine arpeggios all the time. Beautiful sound, I love this. Now we have another five going on before the next chorus starts. So another G altered line. So what I do is I fret over to that A flat again. We had it before. Pull off. Now I go to the F. And now I go descending an A flat minor 7 oh just A flat minor triad sorry that scale would have a major 7 so A flat minor triad 4 4 4 6 and resolution to C minor is the chord tones G and E flat you have to see your chords can you see that you have to see your chords so that's my resolution okay 
All right, here's the entire phrase number four at slow tempo. Welcome to the second chorus and uh, the first line C minor we start with an E flat major 7 arpeggio. We already learned it up here and we had some notes in between and this time we just play the pure E flat major 7 arpeggio down here over C minor which gives it a C minor 9 flavor. I hammer from D to E flat, then it's third, that's the G, B flat, D, E flat, bend over to G, 6 and the 10th fret, all right? And I play triplets. Oops. The last two tones are eight notes again, the rest is triplets. Let that ring for a while, and now I 8 of E and 11 of B string, it's just a little filler up. And now we have the F minor going on. I focus this chord again, F Dorian, F minor 7, here is my third, the ninth fret of the B string. I play around it a bit. Ninth fret, eighth fret, which is the uh, ninth of the chord, right? That always fits very well. Back, and the fifth of the chord, that's the uh, C. And then, just a little pentatonic with the ninth in there. A flat G, pull off, E flat, ah oh, that's F, sorry, E flat, C, B flat, and G. That's it. Except for those fast E flat, major seven arpeggio tones, this is not really difficult. All right, let's check it at slow tempo with the playback. back in the minor cadence, the half diminished G altered C minor, and we're up here. This is where we ended, and I now, now go to the flat 5 of the D, that's the A flat, and I play an A flat major arpeggio. It's A flat, C, E flat, G. It's another super imposition. Play a major arpeggio from the major 7 arpeggio from the flat 5 of the half diminished chord. Now I make a pull off to that chromatic tone, then the D, F, and E flat. That's just a bebop thing. Bebop, bebop. Yeah, cool, huh? Now we're in the G altered, and I play a G, uh, a diminished chord again from the D. You, have, you can play a diminished chord or arpeggio when soloing. Uh, over an altered chord from each of its chord tones, except for the root. 3, 5, flat 7 and flat 9. This is the fifth of the G altered and we play a diminished arpeggio here. D, F, A flat, B, right? Continue to D, F, enclosure, E, that's a chromatic, D, and now I hammer to that E flat, which is the resolution. That's the C minor. It's the third of the C minor chord. We had that before, but in a different uh, enclosure. Okay. Um, yeah, here from the G altered. And this is beat one of the C minor chord. Let's finish that off. G. Okay, I see the chord tones here. And now I end with a little uh, pentatonic uh, motif. I slide from F to E flat and go to G. A little rest, chromatic, uh, F sharp, G, and B flat. All right. And now let's listen to that at slow tempo with the play along. All right, 
we're back at the modulation thing to D flat major, E flat minor, A flat altered, and D flat major. We up here again, and we play the E flat melodic minor this time. Uh, in a real nice jazz phrasing. Memorize that phrase, it's really cool. That's for the E flat minor chord. We start on the sixth of the E flat, that's the C. We climb up, we had this before uh, for the F melodic minor scale. Now we do this here on the E flat melodic minor. The sixth of the scale, the seventh of the scale, that's D the root, then 10th uh, of G string, hammer to 11, bend, roll over to the F, uh, 11th of the B string, and here is the D, that's another major 7. F and E flat. It starts on one end, that's important. One and triple, sorry, one and triple, triple, four and, and now the resolution, that's the C, is the third of the A flat seven chord, all right? Uh, and I play regular A flat altered scale line again. C, um, that's A, going to A flat. 11th fret, 9th fret, 10, 9, 12, and the resolution is 11, right? Let me repeat this. And this is the resolution of the D flat major chord. That, that's the fifth of the D flat. And now I change the, uh, I'm not staying here, I go to the right. I hammer 10 to 11. Play the arpeggio now. Uh, tenth of G string, 13, bridge over to the 13, and the 11th of the E string, that's the uh, ninth of the chord. D flat major 9, or this one. Right, see all the arpeggio tones, plus the ninth. Then I go down to play e, uh, the D flat major because we have two measures of D flat. So I play around here a bit in the D flat Ionian scale. Okay, I have uh, D flat to C, then the arpeggio tones, 10th fret, 11th fret, 10th fret. And then I chromatically approach that target note, 11, 10, 9. That's my target tone for the D half diminished chord that we're on exactly right now. Plus the uh, uh, C in bass. Those are both chord tones, okay? D half diminished kinda equals F minor 7, F Dorian, okay? F minor, D half diminished. So you can think F Dorian or F minor seven. Play everything you played on F minor seven, you can play on D half diminished. All right, um, let's listen to it at slow tempo. All right, and this is the last phrase. We are now at the rest for the rest of the D half diminished chord. We play a uh, D locra 9 scale. D and the E, all right? So that's actually, I told you to, to think F Dorian, and that's the F melodic minor scale, basically, okay? D, E, F, A flat, C. We had almost the same thing uh, when we played the F thing here, okay? D, E, F, A flat, C, I glide over to the G altered chord. Here's the third of the G altered chord, and I have a real good bebop phrase here. That's B, G, B flat, A flat, chromatically down to the a, uh, yeah, F, and E flat. And now the resolution C minor, I land on the ninth of the C minor, and go up the 
pentatonic plus the ninth chord of ninth, the ninth. The phrasing is interesting here, I think. D, F, G, B flat, and then a slide from C to D. And then last chord G altered. Here would be the G. I play um, 9, 10, 11, 11. Twice. That's a G7 sharp 9 and flat 13. That's an, a perfect altered chord. Okay, here is the last phrase in slow tempo. Make sure to check out my other tutorials on Blue Bossa I have up here on my YouTube station, namely the Blue Bossa comping lesson for simple chord comping, and I have a chord melody tutorial up here. Uh, please give this video a fair thumbs up and share the love and the knowledge, and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. I see you next week. Servus, baba.